So let's talk about viewing the contents of a file. Now we're going to do this using a log file because these are files that you might actually end up reviewing on a fairly regular basis. But the things we're going to talk about actually are going to be valid on any type of file. So I want to start and I'm in my home directory, but I want to take us to where the log files are located so we can start to view them. So I'm going to do CD CD space forward slash. And remember from our previous video, var log is where most of our log files are going to be. So if I do my LSL, you're going to see that we have a bunch of uh, files here. I'm going to point out two of them right away. So the AUTH log, that's the authorization log. That has to do with how people have authorized against the file. And then the sys log or against the system. So that's going to be logins and privilege elevations and things like that. And then the sys log is going to be your basic system log. And that's where you're going to have a bunch of your sys log messages. Okay. Let's talk about ways that we can view these files. I'm going to start with cat, which we've used before. So I'm going to cat syslog, and this is going to show me my system log, and it just kind of scrolls all the way through it. And you can see this is a fairly long file. Now, if I want to change the way I view it, you've seen us do this before, I can pipe that to more, and that's going to break it up into one page at a time. Now, it still starts me from the very top one page at a time, and I can only go down. I can't go back up. A, so Control C will get you out of this. Um, if I want to look at it the other way around from the bottom up, I can use the command tack. So I'm going to tack syslog, and syslog is cat backwards, and I want to pipe that to more, and it's going to do the same thing, but now it's going to give it to me from the bottom up. You'll see here, my last entry was January 12th, 1717. If I cat, you're going to see my top entry is January 5th. And as I go through it, I get more and more current. With tack, it gives me the bottom of the file first. And when it comes to log files, that means I'm viewing the most recent entries first. And a couple of other ways we can do that, that we're going to talk about in a minute. But before I do, I want to show you this as well. So I'm going to tack syslog. And I previously I piped that to more and that paginated my display. This time I'm going to pipe that to less, which does the same thing. It paginates the display. But now notice as I hit enter, I'm moving through it one line at a time rather than one page at a time. And then and it doesn't matter if I hit uh down arrow, enter. If I hit the space bar, it's taking me a page at a time. But the other thing I can do is I can use my up arrow and I can scroll back up through this file. So this gives me a little more flexibility by allowing me to scroll either way through my file, which is very, very convenient. Now, when I get to the end of it, all the way to the end here, with more, when I get all the way to the end, it drops me out. With this, when I get all the way to the end, it doesn't drop me out. It just says end. So the way I exit, and I can, I don't have to do this at the end. I can do this at any point. If I hit the Q, it exits me out. Okay. So using cat and tack, I can view the entire file. And I can, using uh, more, I can view it a page at a time. Using less, I can view it a page at a time. But I can also scroll up and down through it a little easier than I can using more. So that's a very convenient tool. However, that is a lot of file to go through. So I can also use a grep command to filter it. Now for this, I actually want to shift and I want to look at a different file. So I'm going to clear my screen and let's cat the auth.log file. And this is my authorization. Now let's say I want to find out how many times we actually used Oh, let's do the SU colon. You can see right here you have SU colon to root. So I want to cat 
A-U-T-H dot log. I'm going to pipe that to grep and I want to search for S-U colon. And that will find just those particular entries for me. Now, I did the cat and piped it to grep. You can do the same thing just by using grep and then giving it the file, giving it what you want to look for, SU colon. Actually, let's see what David has done on the system here. I'm going to grep uh, David for AUTH dot log. And that will display every time David appears in my authorization log. Now, both of them work the same way. It's just a matter of, am I opening the file with cat, piping it to grep, or am I opening it up with grep? Both of them are functionally the same. You will tend to see, this is actually, grep is probably actually a little bit easier on the operating system because you're running one command instead of two. It's not a huge deal. You will tend to see me use uh, cat and then pipe it to grep just because old habits die hard. Now, there's one other command that I want you to be aware of when we're looking at some of these files, and that is tail. So if I cat A-U-T-H dot log, it'll show me the entire log from oldest to newest. If I tack A-U-T-H dot log, it will show me the entire log from newest to oldest. Tail will show me just the last of the log. So I'm going to do tail, A-U-T-H dot log. And that will show me the last 10 entries in that log file. Or if I'm looking at a regular text file, it'll show me the last 10 lines of that text file. If I want to alter that, let's say I only want to view the last five, I can do tail dash five, A-U-T-H dot log. And that will show me the last five entries or whatever number I want to put there, right? Show me just the last one entry of A-U-T-H dot log. Okay, and it'll show me just the last line of that particular file. So tail lets me view the end of the file regardless of how long it is. So I don't have to view the entire thing or filter the entire thing. Now I can combine these commands. So let's do tail dash 15 A-U-T-H dot log, pipe that to grep S-U colon. Now this one, I actually want to run the tail first because I only want to look at the first 15 or the last 15 entries of the authorization log. And then in those 15 entries only, I want to look for S-U colon. And that's going to return it here for me. In those last 15 entries, we have six entries where we use the SU for uh, the user root. So one other thing to be aware of, these log files are updated, but they're standard text files. So typically, you're not going to see live data, right? So if I'm viewing this, I'm not going to see that data automatically update. Now, tail does have another option, and that's dash F. So I'm going to do tail dash F syslog. And so this is going to show me the last few entries of the syslog. And then you see how it's sitting there. What the tail command is doing is it keeps checking that file. Now, it's not exactly real time, but it's pretty darn close. So if another entry happens on the system, I'll see it pop up within normally just a few seconds. So this allows me to sit and monitor a log file for an extended period of time if I'm needing to watch for something and I want to watch and see if I can catch it as soon as it happens. To get out of this, hit control C and it will break you out of it. Okay, so hopefully that should give you a little bit of an idea of how you can view the contents of files and in the process, review log files on your system.